Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this month's Shutter Magazine article. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to deliver your images faster using published services right inside Lightroom Classic. So you might notice on the left hand side in the library module, there's this panel called published services. You know, for hard drive, Adobe Stock, Flickr, um, but Pixie Set is one that I use for uh, my client galleries. And I want to be able to upload my images directly to those client galleries quickly from Lightroom to online. So instead of having to export my images as JPEGs, then upload through the browser, I can do it directly through Lightroom Classic. So it definitely um, is going to minimize my effort, but it's going to make my um, process from Lightroom direct to the PixieSat gallery to really give me a more efficient workflow. So the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before I export, is I'm going to want to rename my raw files. So I'm going to go through the rename um, workflow right inside of Lightroom. There's different ways to uh, rename your files, whether you can do it at import, you can do it at export, but it's very important to do that right inside Lightroom so we have a little more flexibility down the road. I'll talk to you a little bit later about what I mean by that. Um, so first thing we're going to do when we jump into um, the published services is we're going to have to install the plugin. So like many of your online galleries and a lot of, um, a lot of different options, um, will have a Lightroom plugin for you. So that's something you probably want to check out if you're using a different, um, a different tool, maybe like SmugMug or ShootProof or EnView. Um, if there are different tools that you're using for your online galleries, different companies, um, you can definitely check that out um, to make sure there's an option for you. And likely there will be uh, because the published services just make it simple to streamline your workflow. So our end goal is to get our images directly from Lightroom into one of these galleries posted online. That, that's the end goal here. So let's jump back into Lightroom and talk about renaming your raw files. All right, so there's multiple ways to rename your files, right? But what I wanna do is I wanna rename my raw files. So if I'm bringing my files into Lightroom or importing those files, I can choose at import to rename those files, right? but that also requires me to copy them, right? If I wanna add my files, I can't rename them. So it would be something like you go directly from the memory card, you're bringing them in, or if you're copying them from um, a hard drive, you wanna copy them to a new destination, we could rename those files at import. Uh, but I like to leave the files at their original names from camera into Lightroom, and I'll, and I'll show you why. So once we have our files into Lightroom, right? Normally we'd be doing our editing, we'd be exporting our files, and that's where you'd rename them, right? You rename JPEGs, um, you know, you can do PSDs, TIFFs, whatever you want, even original files, you could rename the raw files here. Um, these are all ways to do it. But what I like to do is I like to have a non-destructive way to rename my files and also revert back to the original file names. As you can see here, this underscore JEL uh, 3000, these are the uh, files as they came out of the camera. So it's important to be able to revert back to those original file names if I ever want to add images to my selection. So what we're going to do is I'm going to filter five stars, meaning these are all the ones that have been color corrected and I'm ready to uh, deliver them to my client. So I'm going to select them all and then we'll go here under the right hand side under metadata and I'm going to choose the file name. I'm going to click on the metadata button and I'm going to go down here to edit so I can choose specifically what I want. Now I've already created some presets, right? Um, I have a few presets for renaming clients, you know, something there, I have a wedding one. I even have a revert to original files. Um, so I can have all the flexibility I need to. Let's go to renaming client here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just name this the same um, for the family. So I don't necessarily have the date listed out, but we can go and figure that out pretty quickly here. So let's go to metadata as we have listed here, capture date. Actually, it's right in front of me. So let's do that. Let's go to edit. And we are gonna choose that preset that I already built. And we're gonna do 09, 17, 2021, last name. It's just this name here, so Brusetti, not Brusati. And that's gonna be family. right there. And then we're going to do a sequence of just three. So as you see our new file names, we're going to go ahead and click done and we're going to click okay. 
So what that's going to do is it's going to rename all of my raw files directly inside of Lightroom. And what's really cool is, is it renames them in the home folder as well, right? So very important for a um, backup strategy, right? So once you have the files imported in Lightroom, you're renaming them. Now you can back up those files in the same folder path that you have here. And you can back those up directly on another hard drive so everything connects properly. Um, it's really the best way to do it. Now, if you want to add images to your selection, but you don't want to just add it to the end, and you want to make sure it's renamed correctly, you can select all, go back to file name, and I created a preset with it, but what you would do is, is you clear out everything, and you'd insert original file. So it'll go back to the original file names whenever you need it to. So in the case that you need to revert your files back and then rename, you can always do that. So I always recommend working that way. So that, um, that way if you do need something a little more non-destructive, you need to add files in, everything's being controlled in Lightroom. That is the way to do it. Um, so let's jump into the published services setup um, to dive into that process. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to download the specific uh, plugin for this published service. So there'd already be a Lightroom plugin, which we can download. Once you've downloaded your plugin, we're gonna go back into Lightroom Classic, and we're gonna to go to the plugin manager. So step one's gonna be going into the, um, downloading the plugin, and then going to plugin manager, right? Pretty, pretty straightforward. Now I've already installed the Pixie Set one, but what I would do is I'd click the add button, and I'd go into my downloads folder, and I'd choose the specific Pixie Set Lightroom plugin. And once I do that, it's gonna make sure everything is um, installed correctly. So it's automatically gonna kind of configure everything, put it here. Now that we're done with that, we can go into the Publish Services Manager, Publishing Manager, and we can add Pixie Set, right? So now, if we had it listed here, you know, something along that line, this is the service that we have. So it's already gonna load in the Pixie Set. And what we would do is we can put the description in. Of course, you'd have to log into your Pixie Set account or any other online gallery account you have. You can choose the sync option. I'm not necessarily gonna mess with that. Um, but the next step is to choose the export settings, right? So we're not exporting our files to a folder um, or exporting them onto the um, desktop. We're gonna export them and publish them directly to Pixie Set. So we don't have an extra um, copy of the files anywhere, they just go directly to Pixie Set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose quality 100, color space sRGB, I do resize fit, long edge 3000 pixels, that's plenty good, you know, something for like an eight by 10. Um, they're high res, they're not full res, right? Um, and then we would do uh, 300 resolution and I turn sharpening off. So those are my main settings for exporting out of there and go ahead and hit save. So now we're ready to export these images, actually publish them, excuse me, directly to Pixie Set. All right, so now that we've installed the publishing service for Pixie Set, and some of our other galleries have loaded up here as well, um, we're ready to add a collection. So I'm gonna click the plus button, go down here and create a collection. Now in Pixie Set, a collection is a gallery, and then you can create sets for like sub galleries or sub folders, however you wanna um, look at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a collection, and I am gonna call this Brusetti Family 2021. That all looks good. Make sure everything's spelled correctly. Very important, right, for your customer. I'm not gonna put a watermark on it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Create. And so it's automatically gonna create a highlights set for me. But if I wanted to create another set, you know, call it Creatives or Digitals or you know whatever I wanted to do, um, I could likely just rename that. Just call this Digitals. You know, Digital Negatives, whatever you wanna call it. Well, you gotta spell negatives correctly. And I could click rename, perfect, digital negatives. And then I could go into the five star images that I renamed, right? Select all and drag and drop those right in there. Whoop. It's gonna move those files over to this folder showing that these are new photos to publish. Now what I can do is when I'm ready to publish those files, all I gotta do is click publish it's gonna automatically prep these files to export. So as it's doing this process, it'll also give us kind of a cue of which ones have published and which ones are new photos to publish. So that'll pop up 
uh, momentarily here. Yep, right there. So it's already showing us that these are published. And what we can do is usually it gives us a link once our files start posting to go and take a look at those. So while we're waiting for that, let's see if we can go and show on Pixie Set dashboard. Look at that, already uploading them. So while it's doing that, you can change your cover photo, right? Um, you can start adding in some uh, personal information if you want to change uh, the format and the layout of this. Um, you can do all of those things, right? So we'll go ahead and change cover. Let's see here. So we go back in here, change any of the information that we want, right? Obviously, it's still in preview status as it's uploading. Um, all of these things are fine. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. And we'll just wait for this to finish uploading. It's a pretty quick process, but you can see they're coming directly into Pixie Set here. So if we want to preview, we can already start to look at what our gallery looks like, right? It's already starting to populate those images. So publish services directly from Lightroom. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Let's get out of this and we'll wait for the rest of those to populate. And once this process is done, we can always add photos to uh, the gallery. We can always um, you know, change things, remove them. Um, have, we have full access and full control from, um, from Lightroom directly. Uh, so that's basically it. All right, so now that all of our images have published to our Pixie Set gallery, we can click on the URL up here to take us directly to our gallery, and we can preview it just to make sure all the images uploaded correctly and that they're laid out the way we want them to. So that's literally it. So walking through the steps, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rename those files so that way they're showing up in the gallery the same as you would expect for them to look when they're coming back and when a client references what specific image you have here you can easily go back into Lightroom and you're going to see those exact same photos directly in your catalog so it's so important for a non-destructive workflow to have that flexibility so when they're referencing an image all the images match up it'll save you time I promise you nothing worse than you having some different file on the gallery than what you have in Lightroom and then you're trying to match things up visually it takes forever it's just crazy so keep it simple rename in Lightroom, publish directly to Pixie Set, make life easier. So hopefully this gave you a better way or faster way to deliver your images. And of course, if there's a plugin for your online gallery, there's no reason not to use it. Hope you guys enjoyed this article. Take care.